darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood. The demons squeal in sheer delight. It's you they spy, so plump, so right. Yet still you stand with frozen feet. You try to run, you try to scream. But no more sun you'll ever see. For evil reaches from the crypt to crush you in its icy grip. <laughs> Here and welcome to turn five of a Dutch of Evil. <laughs> Trying to work on my laugh, Winter Price has been uh, inspiring me. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Touch of Evil, boom, we're back into it. Now it's looking a little bit uh, bad to say the least. We've got the swarms of crows everywhere. We haven't actually, we've had absolutely horrendous rolling, which has kept almost all of our heroes in this one board. So the rest of the map is completely ignored almost. So we really need to make some kind of headway. We have this huge mass of stuff over here that we've got to deal with. We have, <laughs> we've got uh, a, a weather effect and we've got the uh, the werewolf as well so all right so let's just move the player token let's have a quick reminder of what cards we've got okay so that's prevent three hits or add two dice anyway so let's get this underway okay so we're still stuck in the same predicament we've been stuck in for the whole game clearing out those freaking birds so let's do it boom he rolls a five, but he's going to stay exactly where he is, so he has to roll for lingering. It's a two. Now you've got to roll a one to get lingering to effect, and now he's going to roll for the bird. One. Damn it. And then he's going to roll his cunning test, which is four dice for that bird. Come on. Boom. Ah, destroyed. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so... He only gets two tokens instead of three because he had to spend one during all that. Ah, seriously is depressing. Okay, Mary's up here, so let's give her a roll. She gets a three, so she's going to go into the abandoned keep. Actually, she's not going to move to the abandoned keep because she's already got the abandoned keep item. So she's going to go one, two three into the old woods. Now she's gone through one, two, three crows. So she has to roll for all those crows. And she passes, because you only only have to dump things on a one. And while she's there, she's gonna may as well try and kill this crow. So she's gonna roll with her spirit, that's four dice. Boom, and he's destroyed. Thank you very much, Glee. One, two, three. Now we draw an old woody card. Attacked! Roll once on the villain's minion chart to see what has attacked you. Okay. So we roll on the minion chart. Ooh, six is an event, so that does not happen. We can we only there's only uh, three to three two five is what we want. Preferably a three. Come on, three. Ah, oh, beautiful! This is the first time I've actually seen this, but it's uh, the Locust Swarm has come out. Now, the Locust Swarm has two fight dice and three wounds. On a victory, we get four investigations, and the hero must use their cunning instead of their combat. And that's what it looks like. Woohoo! Or gross, whatever. Still, that's a lot better than uh, a crow coming out. Now her cunning is at three. So, she has to roll three fight dice. And the monster has two fight dice. Okay, so, now remember, combat in this game, this is actually the first combat we've had. Combat in this game is simultaneous. So, let's roll for the monster. 
Boom, double hits. Wow, that's horrendous. Now let's roll for the teacher. Oh, three hits. Well, there you go. So she absolutely pounds that. She gets two hits though. One, two. We get a nice chunky five. And we'll just take one away. Because you got four investigations for beating the monster. And this monster goes back into the pit. Now we have good old Mera Dolorosa. Now this is where we're going to get to goose some stuff. Firstly, she's going to roll a die. It doesn't really matter what we roll, but we want a one. So we get a six. <laughs> and we go straight to the blacksmith. Then we need to roll for the crow. Two, so nothing happens. And then we're going to roll for the crow using cunning, which is four. Boom! And that kills the crow. Yoink! So she gets another three tokens. Now we're going to encounter the space, and as all town spaces, she draws an event, and then there's a store where you can buy town items. You can buy as many items as you can afford. She's got tons of money. So let's do this. But remember, we do have the weather effect in play at the moment, so we have to roll, and on a one or a two, we don't draw the event, we draw, <laughs> we draw a mystery card. So let's hope we don't do that. Yeah, boom! Three. Oh, it's not a shot. Yoing. Beautiful. Okay, so, whew, lucky escape. Yoing. It's a play immediately, a militia. Place a militia marker in any name space on the board. Limit one militia marker per space. We're going to stick the militia over here at the monastery. Now militia, in case you didn't realize, uh, can take a point of damage and adds one to combat die. Okay, and now comes the fun bit. The town item deck. Now, this is an open deck. We can select whatever we want from here. And we want torches, because they give us five fight dice for fighting the boss. We want healing. But what we really want is this one, the old map. Should be another torch in here somewhere. These books. Look, you can get books in here. I should send the... the didn't realise you could get books in here. I should send the school teacher in them, they're worth one combat, so these are one combat, one cunning, that's amazing. Hmm. This could be good, allows us to cancel, but it's only when we draw, that means first we have to be first player. Combat plus one health. Tools of science. Cunning instead of, oh, a horse. Beautiful. That could help us, maybe. Old map, another horse. Old map, another torch. Here we are. So this is what we want to buy, basically. Town items cost one less. So she has five, ten, one, two, three, four, five. She's got 15. So that's three, six, Seven. We've only spent seven so far. What else can we get? Oh, she can only carry three town items. So well, that's the end of that. So that's five, six, seven. All right. I think that's the end of that turn. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. I thought I could discard the map and move, but you actually have to do it in place of your normal turn. And finally, we have Katarina. Now she's up here near the inn. So, let's see what she's got. Come on, nice roll please. Five. That's one, two, three, four, five. She can get to the seek, to the monastery. She's only got four health. She's got no, yeah, she's just gonna go straight to the monastery. Bam, bam. Now there's the ability here. She can either gain two investigations or gain a wound, uh, remove a wound. She, of course, is going to remove a wound. Yuck. And then we're going to grab the inn. See what we got. Room 216. Hearing strange noises from the adjacent room, you go next door and knock. 
The door opens by itself, and from seated within the shadow, Sebastian Skinner beckons you in with a slippery voice. Make a cunning six test. If successful, gain two D6 investigations, or take any item or ally out of the discard pile. If fails, takes D6 wounds. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty boss. Okay, we need this badly. Come on, six. Come on, six. Three, you got cunning activity. Come on. Boom! Yeah! That's how it's done, yo! <laughs> Suck it, evil ghost monster. Right, now we make a 2d6, if it take, gain 2d6 investigation. So we could gain 12 investigation right now. Or we can take an item from one of the discard piles. And there is that item that allows you to cancel. And I think we're going to take that. Instead of taking the investigation, I'm pretty sure it's in the abandoned keep. Uh, no. Maybe it was the old woods. Where did this come from? Yeah, here it is, the old woods. See what I do? I put them upside down at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so we're taking this guy here. You may discard to cancel any mystery card in a D6 of 2 plus. That's going to be huge. As much as I would have liked the D6 investigations. Okay, and that's that's it. Now we just have the the roll of terror. Six, seven, eight, nine. Unnatural storm. A powerful supernatural storm has blown over the town. Immediately discard any mystery card in play. That is keyword weather. Thank you. Also, roll once in the villain's minion chart, re-rolling any non-event result. When do you ever get with me? <laughs> Very rarely actually have events, isn't it? To see what the evil storm has brought. If the villain attacks during the storm, it does so at a random location and is plus three combat. Okay. So let's just quickly roll on the villain chart. Two! That's an event. Come on, three. Come on, three. Two again. Come on, three. Yes! Now we're rolling in style. Okay, so. Your book. The lighthouse. Down goes a lotus swarm. Alright, so there's the locust swarm goes down, and this is gone. Thank you very much. Get out of town. Now, the mystery phase. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start putting the werewolf signature on top of it, so I can remember every time. But, whoop, mystery. Uh, not that I actually remembered. <laughs> we wanted to the... Uh, this happens at the start of the mystery phase, so I should probably put it... I'll put it here to remember. Anyway, so what happens is... At the start of each mystery phase, the first player must pass a spirit or cunning five test or take five dice worth of fight dice in the face. <laughs> first player is the captain here and he has four cunning. So we need a five plus. Yeah, bam! Done. Now we're rolling with some style. Beautiful. So werewolf he does nothing. Oh, I'll leave that there to remind myself. And now we pull the mystery card. Yoink! It's a mystery hysteria. They, they brought this evil. Ah! The pitchforks are out. Pitchforks are out. Every hero in a named space must immediately roll a number of dice equal to their honor. For every five or six roll, they get one investigation. For every one or two, they take a wound. Everyone is three, basically, except two characters. So, rolling for Frederick. Damn, he takes one wound. Let's see his three on up in the corner there. Rolling for the school teacher. Oh, that was so close! And three wounds! Well, that's just horrid, isn't it? She gets knocked out, and she's knocked out in the mystery phase, which means she's gonna lose an entire turn. So boom, now she has to roll a die. Six, great. 
and she's going to lose five, six. And then, then all her wounds are cleared and she is knocked out. We're going to stick her down delayed in the town hall. Horrible. Oh well. Now we have the smuggler. Now the smuggler, oh by the way, this is a mistake. This card here, it actually says that uh, plus one on a marker and this goes into the discard pile. So, like that. Okay, so she has four on her. She gets to roll four dice. Come on. Boom! Double six, no worries. And she gets one five. So she gets three investigation. One, two, three. Okay. Doesn't worry her. And Katarina, she has five on her. So, come on. My lord. Ah, oh, damn it. That's horrific. Well, she also uh, takes uh, one, two, three runes, and she's only got three left, so we lose that for starters. And now we want a low number. Come on, low number. Low. Oh, I missed. Low, low. Come on. Damn right. Two. So, she's just going to lose two investigation. She's going to lose one investigation and she's going to lose this. Oh no, she's not going to lose this cross. Yeah, so she's going to lose two investigation. She is also KO'd. Well, we ro <laughs> started rolling so well. And she's also KO'd and put out an that. means she's going to miss the whole next turn. That's horrific. That was the end of the mystery phase. Bam. Well, I think we actually did pretty well that turn. So, uh, yeah. Well, oh, that's horrible. Okay, catch you guys next time. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood. The demons squeal in sheer delight. It's you they spy, so plump, so right. Yet still you stand with frozen feet. You try to run, you try to scream. But no more sun you'll ever see. For evil reaches from the crypt to crush you in its icy grip. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!